Yo guys, it's Phonix here, welcome back to a new video, how you guys doing? And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the brand new Independence Day weekly GTA 5 update. Um, now, just before getting with today's video though guys, don't forget, if you are new to the channel, make sure to go down below and hit that subscribe button. Also, with post notifications turned on, so you don't miss a future video from me. And also guys, whilst you are next to it, don't forget to go ahead and drop a like on today's video, I very much appreciate it. And yeah, without further ado, let's go on with today's video. So then guys, this is going to be the podium car for this week um, at the casino. Um, you can, as you guys can see, it stayed the same um, as last week's podium vehicle, um, but everything else has changed in the week. So yeah, we're going to get on uh, to that today. Alright then guys, coming to Legendary Motorsport, the first sale that we're going to have is the Pegasi Ignis. Um, now this is quite a like really good car, so if you guys do not own this and you have enough money to buy it, I would recommend purchasing it as it is on for sale this week. Alright then guys, now um, next up, we're going to have a bit of a different run, but the Ocelot Locust is on for sale, um, not on for sale, uh, like for free. Um, for all next gen players um, on GTA 5 online so this Ocelot car here um, is going to be free for all next gen players only um, so yeah if you if you aren't going to get it um, I don't know why because you're missing out on a 1.6 million car so I mean it's sort of like a win-win situation to be fair but um, yeah this is going to be uh, for free for all next gen players Alright guys, now next up on Legendary is going to be the Pegasi Tempester and that is going to be on for sale. And then guys, coming up to our last sale it is going to be the Pegasi Zentorno. Alright then guys, now coming on to uh, like San Andreas, we're going to have the Western like 4th of July bike on for sale. Um, it is going to be for free for everyone on GTA 5 Online. Guys, now come to Warsock Cash and Carry. We're also going to have the Mobile Operations Center. That is going to be on for sale. And then guys, scrolling down a bit further, we're also going to have the Liberator. That is going to be on for sale um, of like part of like the Independence Day and like keeping up with the theme. Hey guys, now come to Maze Band for Closure. We're going to have all the facilities. They are all going to be on for sale. Um, now I believe the cheapest one is up here for 750,000 um, in my opinion I think that's actually like really good like that's actually such a steal um, so yeah if you guys want to buy a facility this week and you don't have enough money to buy one near the city but you want to buy a facility this is going to be your best option um, because um, you know it's 750,000 and yeah just a really good option so i would recommend buying that and yeah that is going to be all the sales for this week and we're going to move on to all the triple cash and triple rp jobs all right then guys now coming on to um all the jobs um first up we're going to have normal races um like a selection of the races are going to be tri just triple cash as you guys can see um so like as i scroll through you guys can see um most of these ones here um, all going to be triple cash. Um, but yeah, just scroll through on the races and um, the normal ones, not stunt races. And yeah, you guys can do these for triple crash. Um, they're quite boring though, I'm not going to lie. But I mean, if you want to do them just to make some quick money, then go ahead. Alright then guys, now coming up next, we're going to have some, uh, some of the missions. They're going to be two times cash and two times RP. Um, so first up we're going to have is a Titan of a job that is going to be two times cash and two times RP um, but yeah just like a selection of missions like the races are going to be two times RP and two times cash um, as you can see um, when scrolling through them alright then guys um, now the last ones is going to be on the adversary modes and it's going to be the jobs called the running back um, now these are a really fun way to make money um, and like play with friends um, as you can see they're triple cash and triple RP um, so yeah they're, they're actually insanely fun to do um, if you've never played this like job before pretty much there's a runner and there's other people that have to try and stop the runner from making it to the end zone um, yeah it's just really fun you can like smash into them and stuff like that um, but yeah it's actually a really sick game mode um, and yeah it's just a good way of making money this week um, but if you guys do want to see some videos on how to make millions for this week, then make sure to comment down below 
and drop a like on today's video and yeah we're gonna do that um, in a later video and we're gonna get onto the time trials as well right then guys now the RC Bandito time trial is gonna be at the construction site um, it is located here on the map um, and then that is gonna be the RC Bandito time trial and this is gonna be where the normal one is um, not the, just the regular time trial um, it's gonna be over by like the docks um, yeah that is where it's located on the map so then guys if you guys did enjoy today's video um, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me with post notifications turned on so you don't miss a future video and also guys don't forget to go ahead and smash that like button as well let's try and aim for 30 likes on today's video um, let's see if we can make that happen and yeah I'll see you guys in the next one peace out